Today we're going to be having a whistle stop tour of how to use a green stuff roller to make textured faces for faces. Step zero, don't use green stuff. Um, a green stuff is relatively expensive for what it does and it can dry as a sort of rubbery material. Personally I prefer to use milliput because it's quite cheap and it's a lot more rigid when it dries which I like for um, detailed applications like this. Step one. Measure out an equal amount of yellow and grey putty parts and then mash them together with your fingers. Milliput is quite sticky and so I chose to wear gloves. You might want to give it plenty of time to mix, about 5 minutes all in all, until it's a nice uniform yellowy colour. Step 2 is to apply it to the base in the thickness that we desire. Ensure a good coverage over the whole of the base surface and give it a little bit of a massage to make sure it sticks. Step 3 is to wait for 40 minutes for that milliput to cure partially. Step 4, apply a small drop of oil to the milliput. I just use regular old vegetable oil from my kitchen and I also use a little bit too much so I rub the excess on the roller. Because milliput is sticky we don't want it to stick to the roller so this is a good idea. Step 5, using steady pressure we roll the roller over the base. We want to ensure a nice even pressure and I'm being careful not to touch the rod at milliput with my fingers. Step 6. To wait overnight or a few hours for the milliput to fully dry. Step 8. Trim the edges of the milliput and do so while maintaining better blade discipline than me. Remember, always cut away from yourself. And we're done. As you can see, it's really easy to do. And by using oil as a lubricant, we don't have to worry about this putty sticking to the roller or anything. These rollers are really, really great because you can use them to create interesting faces cheaply and easily. There's no need for resin bases or intensive scratch building here. I hope you find this helpful. Consider subscribing or leaving a like. What do you think of green stuff rollers? Do you use milliput or another type of putty? Are there any techniques you want to share down below? Join me next week when I'll be reviewing Green Stuff World True Metal Pigment.